Hello Zebrahood! In today's video, we are checking out the Game Boy Advance games that were recently added to the Nintendo Switch Online Expansion Pass service. Last video, of course, we checked out the normal Game Boy and Game Boy Color games, but this time it's the next generation of Nintendo mobile games, and we have Game Boy Advance. And as you can see, there isn't as many games as there were before with the, the Game Boy and the Game Boy Color, but we still have six games to check out in today's video. Um, I figure we'll start all the way at the end here and let's make our way up like we did last time. So let's start with WarioWare Incorporated Mega Mega. Micro games, and this is one I've actually never played before. We've played the newest version of this, which was WarioWare Get It Together, but now we have Mega Micro Games. This was the first ever Wario game, or WarioWare game, I guess you could say. But uh, as you can see, here's Wario's house, picking his nose, playing a game or something. Oh, he's using the TV remote. Gotcha. Ooh, game sales are way up. Here's why. Okay. It, it's Piero. Is it that cool? I think this is gonna give Wario an idea. Maybe. Ooh. He's gonna make his own game. Make lots of money. Wario right around this cool motorcycle. I feel like these games did so much to really give Wario his own character in a lot of ways. Of course, we saw that in the Wario Land games as well, but I feel like this game really pushed it forward too. So, he gets his own little computer to work on the games. President Wario. Whoa, okay, it's going out pretty well already. Got the whole facility. He's already fallen asleep. Okay, so I think we get the idea of the story a good amount here. We don't need to worry entirely about the whole thing. So we'll skip a little bit of it. But we got WarioWare Incorporated here. And we gotta put our name in. Uh, let's be quick with this. Just because, you know, I wanna spend as much time actually checking out the games and playing them. And we'll worry about more about the story if we ever wanna play the games fully. So, gonna fit in there perfectly like that. How about the zebra? All right. We're in Diamond City. All right, Wario just lives on this big cliff. How does he get down from there? Wario Wear Incorporated. Oh, we're working out, getting strong. Okay, like I said before, if we can skip some cutscenes so that we can just sort of see. I don't think it actually does need to skip cutscenes. Think you can be my games? I would hope so. <laughs> He's having a lot more fun than I would expect. All right, whoa. Where is he going? I'm so confused. He's just having a great time. Ooh. UK Wario? Okay, here we go. So of course, WarioWare, it's all about these little mini games that we have to beat as quickly as possible. Stop me. Stopped ya. And usually they have very simple concepts like that, but our goal is just to complete them as fast as we physically can. Ooh, catch it. Got it. All right, good timing. All right, what's game number three? Gotta dodge it. Uh, uh, ah, I jumped a little too soon for that one, so if we do mess it up, you can see we sort of lose like a hit point there. It's gonna speed up now though, so even more difficult. Gotta dodge, gotta dodge. Uh, I got it, not too bad. Swerving between traffic, we got another mini game coming up. Attack. Ah, I missed! No! <laughs> Yikes. All right, I gotta flee. Uh, okay, I got away from him. Pretty good. Speed up again, and you can just tell it gets more and more intense. You gotta collect these two coins right over here. Oh, it's like Pac-Man, that's cool. Okay, let's <laughs> stop the little Goomba. There we go. Oh, what do we gotta grab? Oh, oh, that was good timing. That was very fortunate. Boss stage coming off already. Got a spar, okay. Uh, ooh, so I gotta hit it right as it comes back. Gotcha, one more time maybe. Ooh, that was pretty good. One more. Ooh, that's a knockout. Very good job, Wario. So that would sort of complete our first stage. Maybe we'll do one more after this, just to sort of get a better taste of the game before we move on to our next one. Oh, it's little Wario. What is, is that a potato? Uh, that's the shark. Um, We're going back in, see ya. I am so confused. That's what's fun about these games is that they're so wacky and random. It's not really supposed to be too much of a consistent logic. All right, well, good job, Oreo. He seems pretty happy with himself. 
Hey, you did it. Next set, it's Jimmy. So I guess we're gonna go see Jimmy now. Yeah, that was sort of the first at the introduction. Now we have, um, I guess it's loading. Huh. Oh, there it goes. Uh, Jimmy. So he has a different genre of games. He has sports. It's Jimmy, baby. All right, let's hop into these levels then and see what we got going on with Jimmy. Who is a little bit more down south. Club Sugar. Ooh. Got this cool nighttime pose. So, you wanna play my games, huh? You sure? Okay. Let's rock. All right, let's go for it. Our very groovy sports theme games coming up. <laughs> Very groovy. <laughs> You're sort of scary looking at this game. I don't know. All right, let's figure it out. Then we got we got our our phone call coming in. Hit <laughs> the old phone. All right, we got a chop. Ready? Got it. Ooh, the full meter too. That was great. All right. Got to balance. Oh, I got to move in accordance to how the bricks are moving to keep it balanced. That was pretty good. Jump. Whoa, that was cool. Super ski jump. Next one coming up, sink it. Oh, it's golf. Gotcha. Some of these can be pretty crazy the first time you're playing them because not only are you trying to do them. Oh, I did, whoa, I almost didn't do it in time. But uh, not only do you need to do them quickly, you need to sort of be able to process what you're supposed to do fast enough. And there we go. Obviously, the more we would play these, the more used to it you'd get and easier it is to get through them in that way, but. Right now, though, it could be pretty crazy because we need to see what's happening and process it and figure out what we gotta do. So, I gotta defend with this one. Oh, gotcha! We gotta catch. Oh, wait, oh, I thought I was just supposed to press A there. I was supposed to move around. Yikes, went right through the screen. Gotta hurdle over that. No problem, no problem. Awesome. Finish. No, no, see, I wasn't ready for that. I didn't know what button to press or what. So, that's not so good. We took some damage, but our speed is going up. Number 11. Oh, I mean, does that count? That counts, okay, it was definitely a foul ball though. We're gonna jump, whoa, that was cool. Oh no, no, ah, oh, once again, I didn't really know, I don't know if I'm supposed to keep the trampoline under us or what. Boss stage coming up though with only one hit point left, what do we got? Gonna knock you out. Uh, okay, ding, ding, ding. Oh, it's like a, whoa, oh, yikes, it's like a, What's it called? Um, punch out. Oh, that was good, that was good. So when you're about to punch, I need to dodge it, give you a good uppercut. And then, oh, see ya! We win, we win! So we finished with 15 points, looking pretty good. But, you know, Jimmy's gonna jam out here because of that, he's really happy. But I think that's a nice little first look at WarioWare. Micro Games Incorporated, or Mega Micro Games. Lots of fun, but let's try our next one. Super Mario Advance 4, Super Mario Bros. 3. So basically there was a Super Mario Bros. Advanced series where they sort of revisited the old Mario games in sort of a random order on the Game Boy Advance, but this was Super Mario Bros. 3 on the Game Boy Advance as Super Mario Advance 4. But what's so cool about these games is it's really like a remastered version of Mario 3. It has updated visuals, I think there was like some voice lines added, and more importantly for this version is it has the Game Boy e-reader levels in it. So there was like this weird, almost like the Amiibo cards that we see today for the Game Boy Advance called the e-reader cards, and you could buy those cards um, and scan them in to get extra levels, and those levels are available in this Nintendo Switch Online version. So that's pretty cool, you can see the Koopalings are stealing the king or turning them into animals or something. Well, we'll get into it and we'll see for ourselves. But what's also cool is you get Mario Bros. as a little side thing. But we'll just play a couple levels of Mario 3. You can hear that there's voice acting in this one too. It's really cool. All right, well, we don't need to worry about rewinding. We know all about that. But um, I guess we'll just press start here. I don't know why it always does this. Like, yes, I know how to rewind. You don't have to have it on the screen. Um, and you're right over here, the level cards. Huh, interesting, so I don't wanna mess with these too much, but just really neat that you have those, right? So if we ever do a series on this version of the game, we'll definitely showcase that. 
I definitely eventually... Oh, we got a mode. Mario and Mario and Luigi. I think that's for, like, two-player. We'll just do Mario. I definitely want to play Mario 3 at some point. I'd probably do a series on both the original Mario 3 and this one eventually, but... Right now, let's just focus on this. And, you know, the resolution is sort of a bit different than it would be Mario 3 and just on the NES. This is so cool. Whenever we pick up an item, Mario says something. Like this right here. Just what he needed. Very cool. So this is the first game that had the Tanooki Leaf. We can use that just to fly up, 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 all the way up here. See, so yeah, a really fun game. One of my favorite Mario games for sure. Very lucky, very lucky. We'll try to float down this way. Yeah, of course, Mario 3 is one of the many games on my list of Mario games to play. We get the star for clearing that level pretty quick. Awesome, that's a really short level, but it's the first level of the game, so that's not too surprising. All right, so let's move over to level two over here. Let's see what Mario can do with this one. And the visuals are definitely, you know, updated. Like, there's more detail to, like, the grass and the hills and the background, things like that. And I think that's a pretty common thing for most of the Mario Advance games, because I'm pretty sure it goes... Super Mario Advance 1 was Super Mario Bros. 2, the, the US version. Super Mario Advance... Two was Super Mario World, I think? It's hard to keep up with, because they did it in this weird, random order. <laughs> that nobody seems to understand why they did it that way, but... Oh no. Oh no! <laughs> Whoops. Sorry, Mario. Let's try that again. I wonder if I can just go... Oh yeah, I can't go past the level. So, we'll try it again. It's somewhere small, Mario, though. We gotta be careful. So, gotta plan my moves out right. Slide down that hill, and I think we can get a mushroom out of this one. I, I think these Paragoombas can be a little bit scary. Can't go down that one, but there is one we can get on somewhere. And I think, whoa, oh, get rid of that Goomba. Can't quite get under here. I know I can. There we go. Hit this button, it turns these coins into blocks. And then we can go down this pipe, no problem. Down here, I think there just might be some extra coins and goodies to get, which is always nice. I like the music here, too. It's just different music, you know, different parts of it, which is always cool. And we're back over this way, so this time we don't have to worry about getting over, up there too much. We can just keep going this way. Gotta be careful, though, because these guys aren't friendly. Oh, there we go. If some of these music notes, they they hold items, and that could be useful. So don't fall here twice. Oh, superstar out of that one. Okay, very cool. We got this sort of spinning jump. And that should get us through, no problem. We get a fire flower this time. I think if you get like a good match, you get extra rewards for it. Probably just extra one-ups and stuff. But there's level two. We'll do one more level. We'll try level three right over here. Yeah, this is definitely a really fun Game Boy game. I definitely, if I had to, you know, obviously I wouldn't want to, but if I had to choose between Game Boy and Game Boy Color or Game Boy Advance, I definitely appreciate Game Boy Advance a bit more just because it was a console I actually had. Personally, I had the Game Boy Advance SP, the little folding one, and my first Game Boy Advance game was Kirby and the Amazing Mirror. Oh, that's not good. Okay, so we gotta be careful now, because, oh, I'm down to my last hit. Avoid the boomerang, bro. Let's get up here if I can. I guess I'll do that. Oh no, whoa, watch out for that Goomba. And we made it, okay, that was actually a quick level. I don't remember the levels for this game being so fast. Huh, we do get a one-up though, because we at least got three things in our little panels. And you know, as a little bonus thing here, you know you find these across the overworld. Hey, this is the first Mario game with an overworld, isn't it? Pick a box, its contents will help you on your way. So we don't know which one we'll have what, so I'll just try this one on the far right. And it has a mushroom. Pretty cool. So there we go, we could use that later if we wanted to, or never, because we're done playing this game for now. So let's go back to our game selection and see our next thing, Mario Kart Super Circuit. Very cool, and this is of course the first mobile Mario Kart game we had before the Super Mario Kart and Mario Kart 64. Then we had Mario Kart Super Circuit, and I think shortly after Mario Kart Double Dash. Very cool game, and this one we won't put a ton of time into just because we've already done a full series on this game. Um, we did a full series on Mario Kart Double or Sur Super Circuit, played all the characters, tried all the difficulties and cups and stuff. It was a lot of fun. I'll keep the 50cc for now. Actually, okay, we'll, we'll, we'll do maybe a little bit more difficult. Just for the fun, we'll do 150. We'll randomize our character. Who's it gonna be? 
gonna be Bowser. Ooh, okay. And we'll do the Mushroom Cup. And we'll just play a quick cup or something like that and see if we have some good fun with this one. I might not do so well. Bowser's not exactly my character of choice and at 150, it might be a bit challenging. I think Princess Peach was a character I was playing a lot. She just had good stats I liked, so. This, this one is a lot more similar to Super Mario Kart than it is any of the other Mario Kart games. All right, let's drift like that, very good. Oh boy, gotta be careful though. Got it. And with our triple green shell, I might be able to, oh gosh, gotta get used to the drifting around here. The turns are pretty difficult to do that with, but, ah, especially like that. Okay, triple red shell, that could be helpful. I wanna wait for Mario's, Oh, Superstar, never mind. See ya, Peach. Ah, oh, we had one more, but I think we ran into Peach with the one we had. I'm not doing good with the turning. I get a Superstar in second place. I mean, don't mind if I do. I'll use that to cut some corners. Ooh, very useful. Very useful. Very cool. So now we're in the lead for the time being. The Boo's trying to steal an item. Joke's on you don't have one, so I guess it knocks me over if I don't have one, huh? Well, that's not good. Come on, get Luigi out of here. Now Yoshi's in the way, too. Come on, come on. Oh no, I hit the tree. So it looks like we're getting a measly fourth place finish for our first race. Not the best, but you know what? We have more in this cup we can maybe catch up with. This is a very fun Mario Kart game. I know it's one of the least favorite by most Mario Kart fans standards, but I don't think it's a bad game. You know, Mario Kart standards are pretty high as it is, so it could be pretty hard to beat most of them. And this one just being a simple Game Boy game, I can see why some people might not pick it out as their favorite, but I think it has a lot of charm and is really cool. Oh, we got the good start that time. This time we're really gonna make up for the points that we might have lost in the last one. I think an important thing about this one is just knowing when it's good to drift, because a lot of the times you don't really need to. You don't really get much of a speed boost from drifting. It's really just for extra increased handling. So if you can get through the track faster without drifting, then more power to you. There we go. Oh, got hit pretty good there by a lightning strike. I'm gonna try to, oh, that's right. We can't do the Koopa shells backwards in this one. All right, well, I guess I should've just held on to them then. Right now though, oh, what hit me there? I guess it must've been a Koopa shell. Yoshi gonna take advantage of that. Not on my watch, mister. Oh, he got him. That was so good. All right, great throw. Let's cut the corner over here and then turn like this. Definitely grab some extra coins wherever we can. Oh, I don't know, that that has to be a shell, because I didn't see anything else in front of me. Oh no. Oh, the red shell, wait! Oh, I tried to put the banana out, but it wasn't enough. The items are super harsh in this game. But another thing is coins. I'm low on coins right now. You can hear the, the noise sort of beeping at us. I think that makes us more vulnerable to taking damage. But if we take this inside line, Yoshi's still gonna try to beat us here, but we get a second. That's fine. I mean, obviously I'm gonna be a bit rusty for this game if I haven't played it in a good while and we're doing 150, so. Still pretty cool, pretty cool. Let's see if we can catch up a little bit in points with that. We got uh, plus something. We got plus zero for some reason. I'm a little confused. Uh, but we get Riverside Park as our next track. Let's go for it then. No speed boost this time. I'm back to being low on coins. I think the coins carry over with each race. Oh man, oh man. Trying to hit whoever I can so I can catch up the super jump. Oh boy. Oh, I got a superstar though. I definitely want to use that, but just the right time, like about here. Because then you can do crazy corner cuts. It's always the exiting of the drift that gets me a little mixed up in this game. Sort of corner cutting. I mean, it works. There we go. That was actually a really good one. And I get another superstar. I didn't mean to activate at that point, but you know what? That's fine. That's fine. Now we can take the lead with that a little bit. But we had the lead last time. They hit us with so many items that they caught back up. So that's what I'm a bit worried about for now. I think here is where we can, ah. Uh, with Bowser, it's so tough. Come on, come on. Drift through this as much as I can, but that turn is brutal. Okay, let's see if we can, no, get through this one. Oh my gosh, Yoshi. Oh, I did not, once again, I was trying to press the button so we could just activate the roulette quicker. I don't know if it works like that in this game, because all I'm doing is activating it. 
triple green shell coming in, but I'm getting hit by obstacles in the road. So I just, I don't know if this is gonna work out in time. Come on, ready, right there, red shell, red shell. Ooh, but I'm, I'm hitting the wall, I'm getting too stressed out. Come on, ooh, that was a good turn actually. Coming up on the end, can we actually get a first place finish? That is what I'm talking about. Okay, now we're picking it up a bit. Always fun to play some Mario Kart like this. So, there we go. We got ourselves some extra points as Bowser. Not enough for us to take the lead. We'd have to win probably one more race here at the least. Yoshi is really proving to be difficult here. Okay. So. We got Bowser's castle here. We're playing as Bowser. It only makes sense that we win this one, right? Oh, we get the triple red shell, so that's really gonna help our case. Because if we wanna win the cup, not only will we have to win the race, but I think we'll have to make sure that Yoshi's not getting second. He needs to get worse than second. Oh, so difficult so far, though. Because I keep drifting too early. That's the kind of thing that you can't really get too used to very quickly in these older style Mario Kart games. What even made me spin out there? No clue. Oh no, oh, I hit myself. <laughs> okay, well, I don't think we're gonna win this one. We can back out here if we wanted to. I, th I think we will, you know, we spent enough time on this one. There we go. <laughs> I don't think we're gonna be able to catch up in time with that one. But obviously, if you wanna see more of Mario Kart Super Circuit, we we've done a full series on it, so there's plenty Plenty of fun to be had there. But let's move over to our next one, Mario & Luigi Superstar Saga. Now this one is really cool, it is a RPG game with Mario & Luigi. What's fun about this is I've played the Nintendo 3DS remake of this game, but not really too much this Game Boy game. It's super iconic and this really starts off the long series of Mario & Luigi games. I think there's six or seven of them in total. Um, so they're really cool, really fun. I definitely wanna play more games in this series soon enough. Um, so let's get started with Mario & Luigi here. This is a very story-based game. I might try to skim through it a little bit just so that we can sort of get into the game a little bit. But it's just a very cool RPG where, you know, we have uh, all the toads here and bad things happen. It's Mario & Luigi to save the Mushroom Kingdom. But I'd love to hear, you know, obviously I think we, we've played through Superstar Saga on the 3DS and Bowser's Fury on the 3DS. Those are the only ones that got ported to the 3DS. Um, so there was, that was the first and the third game. The second game, Dream Team, was on the Nintendo DS and I've never played that one. Some of you have been requesting that I get to it at some point, I definitely want to. But I also am wondering, maybe I should just go back and play Superstar Saga on Game Boy first and then just do Dream Team. You know, just sort of work away from the very, very beginning. See how the games are sort of different. Like, you'll definitely be able to see some differences between this and the 3DS remake. So maybe that's like a better way to do it, but as you can see, Princess Peach is being stolen by these evil Bean Bean Kingdom people. And this game's a little bit slow to start. I don't think this has like a speed up functionality. Oh, here's Luigi doing some laundry. <laughs> Emergency situation. <laughs> Did you see the Kingdom Courier? Luigi's not caught up with the times. Mario! Oh, do I play as Toad here? That's right, I play as Toad here. So, I'll just, like I said, try to move on with the story as fast as we can so that we can at least get like one battle. Hmm, I hear humming. Oh okay, yeah, Mario's taking a shower. Gotta respect his privacy, gotta knock first. Uh-oh. You okay, Toad? No. <laughs> Mario, I don't think that helps. Princess Peach, Princess Peach. Uh-oh. Get dressed quick, buddy. There we go. Off onto another adventure. So, we head over to the castle. Princess Peach is crying. Oh, that's right, she can't talk now, I don't think. But Bowser's here, too. Ooh. Attacking me when my back is jerked, huh? Well, that's typical. Come here, super coward bros. I think this will be our first battle, it is. So what's really cool about this game, obviously, I don't know if we'll be able to play too much as Mario and Luigi here, but you know, it's an RPG, so very similar to Paper Mario in that way, we sort of choose our target, and we do little moves. What'll be cool is that, you know, I think Luigi will tell us soon enough, but we can do different things like blocking and attacking. Oh, maybe, maybe Toad will tell us. Uh, what was your last battle? Did you already forget about your action commands? Nope. <laughs> I know all about them. Oh, really? I should have known. So we'll just skip the tutorial there just for it to speed up a little bit. So if we press jump just as we're about to land, I mean, I think it should, oh yeah, we can jump over that, but let's try again. 
Huh, not working. Usually if we jump right at the beginning of the jump or something. Uh, I forgot something. This is really important. You can only dodge Bowser's attacks. Or also, do you want to know how? Nope. Oh, really? I should have known. <laughs> okay, so Bowser attacks so we can just jump over. And my timing is any good. And usually you can, I don't know if it's my own fault or what, but usually you can press a button to do like an extra jump out of it. But Bowser, ugh, we got him pretty good there. Knocked him out cold. Oh, wait a second, listen, this is no time for fighting, even though I would have won. Listen to me, everyone, something terrible has happened. The goodwill ambassador from our neighbor, the Bean Bean Kingdom, just paid a visit. Yeah, but it was no friendly visit. The ambassador stole Princess Peach's voice. Oh no, and it's an explosive voice now. And replaced it with explosive vocabulary. Watch out. Or Peach. Ugh, why cannot Princess Peach in this state? She'll wreck my castle. Mario, do something super. Mario, please go and retrieve Princess Peach's beautiful voice. Only you can do it. The perpetrator came from the Bean Bean Kingdom. If you head over there, you should be able to learn more. <laughs> yes, go capture that fiend and get back Peach's voice, and then I can kidnap her. So you get the idea. Mario and Luigi have to go on a little adventure here to save Princess Peach's voice, and with it, probably the Mushroom Kingdom. Oh, man. Because if not, I might be blasted to smithereens pretty quickly. So I want to skip through the, the, the dialogue here pretty quickly just so we can sort of get into the gameplay. I see some interesting kind of toad characters around here too that you don't see on the other spots. But you can hit that really quickly, get a mushroom. That's another fun thing about this game is you can explore these areas. Hi, Luigi. Oh, Luigi's coming with us. And we can save the game here if we wanted to, which I don't really need to. And like I said, I'm specifically trying to skip out on dialogue and little extra exploration things just so we can get into at least a little bit more gameplay. Look, we've got Toadsworth here. It would appear I'm just in time. All right then, so he's giving us some, a suitcase. Very useful. All right, so we also got 100 coins. Nice little things to start us on our adventure. Luigi does not want to come with us. You gotta come with us, Luigi. It's Mario and Luigi. It's not just Mario Superstar Saga. Mario! That's right, we team up with Bowser in this one, don't we? Right over there. You're late! What were you doing? We're leaving right now, so get on board and make it snappy. <laughs> All right then, so. Off we go, teaming up with an unlikely ally. Maybe it's Mario and Bowser Superstar Saga. <laughs> All right. They're still chatting. Come on, you gotta come over here. So I skipped ahead a little bit here just so that we can maybe run into some more stuff. We're in, we're in Bowser's ship here. You can see there's different things you can do with Mario and Luigi, like lining them up for these kind of things. And with a little bit of teamwork, you can get them to get extra blocks and stuff. It could be pretty cool like that. Uh, and that's sort of the big thing about the gameplay here is it's all about teaming up Mario and Luigi, but I wonder if we'll run into any enemies. I'm not quite sure. <laughs> what did it do at least one more battle with these two before we move on to our next game? All right, so it's showing me other stuff. I guess not. So I'll have to keep going until we find another battle. Okay, so here we go, run into a Goomba. I wanna fight some of these guys real quick. So cute, so obviously it's gonna tell us how to play a little bit, but we already know because we have played other Mario Luigi games before, but when a Goomba attacks, Mario we can use Mario to jump, but same thing with Luigi, he can avoid his own stuff. So that's sort of the cool thing about this is it's like this RPG, but you, you can use these little team up mechanics to do some really crazy stuff. And later on in the different games, we get some crazy moves with these. So, so skipping the cutscenes a little bit, but now we have a proper battle going on. Got it. And then same thing with Luigi. We don't have any really special moves just yet. I don't know if I'll have enough time to play through the game enough to see those. But if you really are desperate to see it, we have of course played this game on the 3DS. So definitely go check that series out. But you know, that, that, that showed what I wanted to show, that we could team up with Mario and Luigi. Next up, we have a Zelda game I've actually never played before. The Legend of Zelda, The Minish Cap. And I figure we'll, we'll put a few more minutes into this one for sure, but uh, really cool, you know, pixel art with this one, The Legend of Zelda, The Minish Cap. And this one sort of follows the Toon Link art style that we sort of see make its way into the Wind Waker. 
And that's really neat. So we'll just choose a file here. I'll start it with, you know, being titled Zebra. There we go. Saving our file, and we're getting started the Zelda adventure. So we can choose this one. Ooh. And I don't know how much of the story we wanna see. Like I said, you know, if we wanna see deeper into these, we can always uh, do a full series on them if you want. A long, long time ago when the world was on the verge of being swallowed by shadow. The tiny Picori appeared from the sky, bringing the hero of men a sword and a golden light. With wisdom and courage, the hero drove out the darkness. When peace had been restored, the people en enshrined that blade with care. Huh, so that's sort of the, the legend, the story, I guess, of, you know, the Master Sword. I hear somebody working on something. It sounds like some hammering in the background, but uh, we got Zelda here. Hi, Zelda. So she's just sort of walking around the kingdom. I really like the Pixar in this game, that's so pretty. That's sort of my favorite thing about Game Boy games, is just this style Pixar that was really common at this point was really nice looking. Good morning, Master Smith. Goodness me, Princess Zelda! Did you sneak out of the castle and come all this way alone? The minister is sure to be worried about you. You know how he gets. Oh, don't worry about him. He'll be fine. Where's Zebra? The whole town is bustling for the annual Picori Festival. I thought he and I might go together. Would you mind terribly? Oh, is that where you're? what you're here for? Well, Saber was up late helping me last night and he's still asleep. But I do have an errand to the castle, or at the castle. Yes, that should be fine. Zebra, time to get up. But where are we? Oh, we're in a little bedroom over here. Zebra, time to get up. All right, wakey, wakey. Alright, we're up and at him. Let's go down this way. Where are they? Oh, we can roll in this one? That is so cool. Are they in here? Oh, hi guys. Hey, hey Zebra. Princess Zelda is here. She'd like to know if you'd join her at the festival. Yeah, Zebra, come on. Let's go check out the festival together. Master Smith already gave me permission to take you. Yes, after all, the festival only comes once a year. Go on, have fun. And while you're there, you could do me a favor. I just finished making this sword for the minister at Hyrule Castle. I'd like you to deliver it to him. Sure. You accepted the Smith sword. Make sure you don't lose this extremely important delivery. This is the blade that will be presented to the winner of the competition. Don't lose it. And while the two of you may be childhood friends, remember, Zelda is the princess of Hyrule. You watch over her. Don't let anything bad happen to her. Master Smith, quit worrying. We'll be perfectly safe. Come on, Zebra. Let's go check out the festival. All right, then, yeah, let's go for it. So, very relaxing sort of opening to this game. Everything feels pretty peaceful. Zebra, over here. All right, here I come, but can we use the sword? I guess not. That would've been cool. You can just use it straight away, but. All right, let's go. Seems faster to roll around, so I'm just gonna make the most of that. Over here, come on, hurry up. I'm going as fast as I can. Well, here we are at the town of Hyrule. It's not too far of a walk, huh? Whoa, look at this place. Oh no, my battery's low, but it's quite the festival. Huh. Everybody's celebrating. Here we are, Zebra. Doesn't it look fun? Come on, let's look around. All right then, so yeah, we'll take a quick look around. Uh, I don't know where Zelda went though. Hey guy, have you ever seen the Picori? I saw one just the other day. It wore a red cone shaped hat and it was really small. And it was standing inside my dad's shoe. I really saw it, I swear. I've never seen the Picori before. So the Picori are like a, a race of really small people. I guess we made a sword, maybe one of the master swords. Are you enjoying yourself, Zebra? This is the biggest festival in Hyrule. If you don't stop to enjoy it, you'll miss out on all the fun. Oh, here's Zelda. Zebra, there's a storyteller here. We should stop and listen to... Oh, I wonder what's over there. Hmm. 
Long, long ago, and then even longer before that, evil creatures appeared in the world of humans. They were powerful, frightening beasts, and they created such trouble. But then the Picori came from the sky, bringing humans powerful magic. With the magic light force and the Picori blade, the beasts were repelled. Picori blade. And the world of humans once more knew peace, thanks to the Picori. So as not to forget our gratitude, we hold this festival each year. Now, remember, little ones, the Bagori only appear before good little children. If you only do bad deeds, you will never get to see them, so be good. All right, so where did Zelda run off to? Right up here. So the Picori are real. My father always told me they were. Oh, look at that. Only once every hundred years does the mystic doorway open. This is the door that links the human world to the world of the Picori. When this door opens, the Picori can enter our world. And guess what? This marks the hundredth year since they last appeared here. I'm sure something wonderful is going to happen at this festival. All right then, so I'll talk to you. Say, wasn't there going to be a sword fighting tournament at, at the castle? I wonder who won this year. Oh, wow, over there. I wonder if I just keep talking to her. Oh, somebody's ringing the bell. We have a winner. Oh my, Princess Zelda, you won the grand prize in our drawing? Wow, you get your choice of any of these wonderful prizes. What will it be? Whoa, first we have this lovely heart-shaped stone. Next we have this magnificent gem. And finally there's this teeny tiny shield. So which one would you like? Let me guess, the jewel? Oh, but this heart stone is very cute too. Choose whichever you would like. The shield is so adorable, I think I'll take it. What, why, why would you want that ugly thing? What about the heart stone, it's cute. Or, or this giant gem, it's pretty. Honestly, they're both much nicer than that nasty little shield thing. Nope, I want the shield. Can I have it? What a strange princess you are. Well, okay, here's your teeny tiny shield. Here, I want to give you a present. Doesn't this shield suit, perf suit you perfectly, Zebra? Ah, Princess Zelda gave you a small shield. Hold the button to protect yourself. It is a little embarrassing now. It's so tiny. Okay, whoa, I mean, it's not that small. Yep, just as I thought, you look great. Now, if anything happens, you can protect me with that shield. Oh, I almost forgot. We have to take Master Smith's sword to the castle. Let's go, Zebra. All right, then, let's go for it. Right up this way. I'm guessing there's the castle waiting for us. I'm just trying to move as fast as we can so that we can get into some gameplay. Come on, Zebra, let's hurry to the castle. I feel like with Game Boy Advance games, the game sort of became larger in scope, and because of that, they're sort of more story-based. Oh, no! Hey, leave the princess alone. Ouch! That must be the business scrub I heard the soldiers talking about. They were saying a Deku scrub had been hassling all the passerby. Zebra, do something about it, otherwise we can't get to the castle. If only we had a way to defend ourselves against the, those nuts of his. So I think we do if we hold A. Oh, we can just knock it right back at you. Please, forgive me, sir. I've heard there was a festival and I came to town hoping to hawk my wares. Unfortunately, we scrubs have a tendency to spit nuts when we speak. Everyone got scared and ran away, and no one would buy anything. This is a terrible place to do business. I'm going back to my cave. I'm so sorry. I actually feel a little sorry for that business scrub, but that nut hurt. Oh well, he won't be hassling anyone now. We better hurry to the castle. Okay, let's go for it. So I think that's gonna be right up here. Ooh, yeah, quite a big castle. We almost got this sword where it's supposed to be, right? Oh, Zebra, you brought the sword, did you? Then, as Minister of the Kingdom of Hyrule, I, Patho, accept this blade. You came just in time. The award ceremony will begin soon. I'm sorry, Zebra, but I had better go. I had to prepare for the ceremony. I had a good time at the festival. Thanks for coming with me. My pleasure. Since you're here, Zebra, why don't you join us for the award ceremony? Ooh, look at this. Very cool sword. Do you know about that sword, Zebra? It is called the Picori Blade, and it locks much evil away in that chest. The Picori Blade is, a, is sacred among the people of Hyrule. Legend has it that long ago the Picori gave us this blade. Whoever wins this competition earns the honor of touching the secret blade. Whoa, and there's the king of Hyrule, I suppose. Can we move? Oh no. Let the award ceremony commence. Vasi, champion of the competition, you may approach the blade. So this person won the competition. Huh, they seem pretty mysterious. 
<laughs> to think things would go this well. The Picori blade and the bound chest spoken of in high, Hylian war, lore. This chest must hold which, that which I seek. I'll relieve you from its contents now. Oh no. Everyone's sort of getting a bad idea. Whoa! So Vati's really powerful. <laughs> Do not interfere with me. As Victor, I've earned the right to approach the Picori blade. I've been waiting for this moment. Oh no. Whoa! That's not good, that broke the blade! What are those? Something's happening with Zelda too. Who are you? Why are you doing this? The princess with the mystic aura. The power that was gifted to the people of Hyrule still flows within the veins of the ladies of its royal family? Interesting. If I leave you now, you'll only cause me trouble later. That will never do. Uh oh. The stone with you. Oh no! No, Zelda got turned to stone! <laughs> All who stand in my way shall share this fate. Now to find what power awaits me in this chest. Hmm? Empty? There was nothing in there but a rabble of monsters? What is the meaning of this? Well, I know the force I'm after is somewhere out there. I'm in no hurry. I can take my time searching for it. <laughs> so maybe we'll end it up there. A lot of story, of course, but that's sort of just how Zelda games work. Uh, Zelda turned to stone. Poor Link here knocked out. Lots of question marks on the story that, of course, we can experience more if we play the full thing. So let's get to the game selection now and see our final game out of the six. This is Kuru Kuru Kururian. I think that's how you pronounce it. If I mispronounce it, I'm sorry. But this is a game, as far as I understand, has never been released officially in the West. Um, this was maybe a Japan exclusive. I'm not entirely sure, but it's a really neat game um, where you're supposed to, <laughs> look at these cuties. Oh, you're supposed to play this spinning bar and sort of have it you know, fit through different things. So yeah, it's sort of like a puzzle game, an action game all in one. So let's give it a try. So we'll just start with our save game here. I'll just do Z for now so that we can sort of uh, get started with everything and try adventure mode. Kudorian seeks his brothers and sisters in the various lands. And we'll do, we'll do normal mode. I think that'll be fine. Kudorian, my kids lost in another land. Can you and go and rescue them? Maybe it's Kudorian? I haven't seen, I haven't been outside of this world. You'll be all right. Teacher Hare will teach you everything. You wanna train? Sure. Hello, Teacher Hare. Let me give you some advice. You'll be all right, trust me. So maybe this was released in the West at some point? I'm not sure, because it's fully in English. I should be careful not to touch the walls, right? Watch the demo to learn the correct timing. Training one. So yeah, as you can see how the game works, whoa, is that we have this little spinning bar and our goal is to not touch the walls. So to do that, we need to time our movements pretty specifically. It's a really neat concept for sure, so I definitely like it. We'll try this next one now. If I hit the walls, or receive damage, right? If you fly through the heart area, you'll be recovered. Huh, so let's try training two. Really neat concept for sure. So we can do it right here go through like this, and we heal up here if we took any damage. Luckily we didn't, but all about timing, speed, and precision. It can be very addicting to get through, but I'm sure as the challenge jumps up a bit more. Can I get through those wound passages? I'll probably hit them. The most important thing is timing. Remember to watch the demo. So it's sort of like a little ghost that we can watch if we're, we're stuck, but honestly so far, we're doing a pretty good job. Obviously it's not the easiest thing, Oh no, uh, not the easiest thing with a D-pad. I think it'd be easier with an analog stick, which we can technically use, but I don't think it's the same thing, really. Okay, let's try again here. We didn't get a star that time, maybe because of speed? I guess if we beat the hair's time or something, we get a star instead of just a normal one. I feel the passage is getting narrow. When you go through the narrow passages, use the depressions. Okay, so let's try it here, just like that, and these little depressions as they call them. Help us get through. Oh, uh, this is so cool. Oh no, oh, okay, that actually adds time too, it's taking damage. Gotcha, so you gotta be careful things like that, but we still didn't do bad. Now I can move through this one. Can I change my propeller's direction? If you touch the spring, you can change your direction. 
Huh, neat. So I guess there's some springs around somewhere. Right here. Whoa, okay, gotta be careful though. If we do make it through, we get that goal. So really with this one, I guess I can fly better now. Thanks, Teacher Hair. Take a rest at the safety place in the middle of the passages. Check out practice if you want to see more demos. If you have difficulties in the future lands, press the select button in the start area. Good luck, I hope you find all of your brothers and sisters. That's so nice. Okay, so we're at our first area here, the grasslands. Go slowly to get used to, to plus control pad. Gotcha. What is with this thing? I don't know if we're supposed to stay in the center of this or something. So far, so good. Okay, we wanna wait here and then go across. We're supposed to be able to do this within 10 seconds or something. It's pretty crazy, ah, darn. We did 16 seconds because of that. Still not too bad. These games can definitely be super addicting just to get through as fast as you can. Let's try Grassland 2. But this is definitely a highlight for me trying this out because I've only seen very little about this game so that you know be able to play it here on the Nintendo Switch Online service is pretty cool. This one of course was part of the expansion pass so you have to be able to pay for the extra tier to get the Game Boy Advance games. I don't mind that too much as long as they add the games a little ah, more often than maybe they would with some of the other ones because I feel like they were very slow. What is this? Whoa, we're all wiggly. Uh, I don't know if that's really too much of a help. There we go, we got through it. Took us a while though. There we go. Let's go for another one here in Grasslands. But that's always my concern with the Nintendo Switch Online games. It's really cool to see more consoles, either be Nintendo 64 or Sega Genesis, NES, Super Nintendo, not the Game Boy games. My problem is that it usually takes them a really, really long time to add a lot of games. And that just, to me, gets a little tiresome. So hopefully they do a pretty good job at adding Game Boy games pretty quickly and add more games to the consoles too. And maybe one day we'll even see Nintendo DS games being added. That'd be fun. Okay, let's grab that right there. I don't know what that did. It's just like, oh, it's one of our siblings. They're on our little bar here. That's so cool. Okay, let's not go too fast. But there we go. We got it. We got it. Very cool. Hi, Chikurin. Mom is worried about you at home. Brother Kururin, thanks for coming. Ah, so I guess you know we just gotta keep saving all of our friends. I think we'll do one more level here in the ocean theme. The springs will appear, feel free to touch them, they won't hurt you. So yeah, we'll just try to get through one more level here before we wrap things up. It's been a ton of fun though. Very cool little game. And there's a lot of Game Boy games I can personally think of that I would love to see on the service. I know that they've confirmed a couple are coming soon. Things like Kirby and the Amazing Mirror, which like I've said before, is one of my favorite um, Kirby games ever. It was the first Game Boy Advance game I played. That was so quick. <laughs> All right, very cool. So I was just, you know, really excited to see what's the, what the future is for the Nintendo Switch Online service, but we're gonna leave it there. That was all six games currently available for the Game Boy Advance Nintendo Switch Online service. Hopefully they add more so soon. You guys can always let me know if you wanna see any full series on these games that we haven't already done one on, and maybe we can consider it. But for right now, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.